So I forgot to read the notes for scene eight. So here are the notes for scene eight. The invention of the roll of film made possible by the celluloid plastic led directly to the technology of motion pictures. The idea that a picture could be made to move by sequentially showing small changes in the image had been known for hundreds of years, but without a flexible transparent material, the only way it could be made to work was using the rotating cylinder of a zoetrope. Celluloid changes everything, changed everything, allowing a sequence of photographs to be taken on a roll of film and then played back fast enough for the picture to appear to move. This not only allowed a longer sequence of motion to be shown than with a zoetrope, but the moving image could be projected and so this experience could be shared by the whole audience of a theater. This was the key insight of the Lumiere brothers and led to the establishment of the cinema. The picture on the previous page, so there's the picture, oh, right there, okay. <laughs> the picture on the previous page of the Wild Bunch, a gang of train robbers led by Butch Cassidy, was taken in Fort Worth, Texas in 1900. The exploits of the game typify what we think of as the Wild West, a time of outlaws and violence, which carried on alongside the development of all sorts of modern technologies, such as trains, cars, planes, and of course, plastics. The gang's exploits would no doubt have receded into obscurity were it not for the 1969 motion picture starring Paul Newman as Butch Cassidy and Robert Redford as the Sundance Kid. This movie was shot on celluloid film stock, and like many Westerns, it immortalized and romanticized a way of life that long predated it. The plastics that followed celluloid, such as bakelite, nylon, vinyl, and silicone, built on its creative power and have also had an important impact on our cultural psyche. Bakelite became a moldable replacement for wood at a time when the telephone, radio, and television were being invented and needed a new material to embody their modernity. Nylon's sleekness took on the fashion industry, replaced silk as the material for women's stockings, and then spawned a new family of fabrics such as lycra and PVC, as well as a group of materials called elastomers, without which all of our clothes would be baggy and our pants would fall down. Vinyl changed music, how we recorded it and how we listened to it. And along the way, it created rock stars. And silicone, well, silicone turned imagination into reality by creating a plastic form of surgery. Without plastics, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and all other movies would never have existed. Neither would the cinema matinee nor the cinema itself and our visual culture would be very different indeed. So although I am no fan of excessive plastic packaging, I hope I've shown that there is one place a plastic candy wrapper should feel safe and appreciated. If there is one place that it should be appreciated, it is most definitely at the cinema. Fee. So if you catch that scene, all of the celluloid plastic that Hyatt was working on towards the end of his career was being used to make film, which started motion pictures, so movies. We wouldn't have had movies. And he was trying to convince this cowboy who showed up in his office to kill him that these movies were going to make him immortal, it was going to give a way for his story to move on forever and ever in movies. So that was the gist of that scene. See you guys next time. <laughs>